Before we get into the seriousness of today's song, which is Aurora and Forgotten Love, one which I wanted to feature for a long time, and now I found the right video to do that, cover it and, and give a bit of bio about it. But people often say to me, isn't she a remarkable singer? And I agree with that. And all her fans are very loyal. We all agree to that. And she has remarkable skin and hair and her hair is always the talking point. So I found an article, just a fun article, just to begin this video on Aurora's beauty routine, believe it or not. And her voice, as we all know, has been associated with many things. And David Bowie's Life on Mars featured on the HBO's hit series, Girls, made her very prominent in the music industry and a force to be reckoned with and i remember on a previous video i said she's going to be one of the most prolific songwriters and musical artists of our time she's already there but while she's jetting around and going from concert to concert some of her most iconic features has always been the different hairstyles and her white stark hair partially shaved at times long bob and a lifelong struggle with extremely thick Norwegian Viking hair. She quotes, I buzz it myself, she shares happily. The task made all the easier by a discerning eye of her resident makeup artist, who's her sister, who's always on hand for cleaning up the back. These regular quick undercut trims are only part of her pre-show beauty ritual, providing an immediate boost of confidence. I feel, she quotes, more beautiful when it's freshly shaved. The clean cuts give her head a welcome breeze, liberation of weight, and ensure that her hair won't get in front of her eyes in mid-performance. A stash of bobby pins, bobby pins, is always on hand to keep her remaining lengths pulled back. Now, I'm constantly trying to find new ways to get my hair out of my face, she says, of her repertoire of twists and top knots. With a crisp buzz and a secured bobby pins in place, only two other beauty products are necessary for a streamless flow that makes Aurora glowing naturally and looking fresh. The first is Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation, which she wears at the recommendation of her sister to hide her naturally rosy flush. While I'm on stage, I want to keep that a secret, she says. The second is a bottle of Chlorine's Gentle Chamomile Dry Shampoo, the cult of favourite formula. It has no perfume, it's natural as you can get, she explained, of what makes it the perfect inoffensive road trip accessory. Now it's a bare bones routine enabled by a genetic pre to a glowing complexion, <coughs> excuse me, and a commitment to skincare at home and on the road. Whilst traveling again, Aurora packs on the hydration with Sen SAIS Ultra Moisturizing Formula. She quotes, my skin gets so dry and chapped the second I get off a plane, so I apply as much sunscreen as I can. Her favorite is a powerful and waterproof SPF fresh from her local Norwegian pharmacy. Traveling has also made her a master of portable yet satisfying in-flight snacks of which she nibbles at the Omega 3 rich Waza crackers, dried mangoes or banana remarking on the potassium's calming quality qualities. It makes me less stressed. Mental health is maintained with as many jaunts into nature as she can make time for. Outside the peripheral when she's out and about, let's say she was in New York, she likes to go walking mountains to feel less stressed. And when she's not at festivals, you'll probably find her on some rugged terrain, walking around, trying to distress. Although to us, playing a crowd of 40,000 in some of these festivals seems like a bit of a climb in itself. Now, what about today's song? It's called Forgotten Love. It's a song, she said, I wrote about when we chose to fall in love with someone, either a partner or even just the love you have for a friend. We know the risk it takes, how much it would hurt if we lose this person who we love this much. But then once you do lose them, it's about the feeling of letting go of that love, not to carry around the ghost of somebody and how freeing that can be.
That is what today's song is about. Now, it also quotes about verses in the song that were written an imaginary language by herself. It's not Norwegian nor Icelandic. And you will pick that up in this video as was confirmed by her and her team. So that is what it's about. Forgotten Love came out as the second single of Aura's second EP, Infections of a Different Kind, Step One. The stop the song was first performed on April the 12th, 2018 in Phoenix, Arizona, and officially, officially released in August of that year in the 17th. She stated that there's no real language behind the verse that seems to be Norwegian. As I've just mentioned, rather it's a language invented by herself that only she can understand. And she also revealed, my own language is an emotional language and it means what you mean it to mean in the now. It's very liberating to sing the words because I can change the energy in them. My newest song at the time in 2018, this was, has that own language. It's in the second verse as you'll hear. You can feel the melody and the instruments without having to put any input on what I'm saying. So we're going to hear it. And as I said, she wrote this song because when we choose to fall in love with someone, either a partner or even just the love that you have for a friend, we know the risk it takes. And good advice not to be carrying around a dead love. But I will, as always, give you my interpretation. I didn't want to be an artist. I wanted to be something else. Like a and I slipped up there because it's all life. And we're back to the video. You're going to hear that repeated. Should I edit it? No, it's live. Take it away, Aura. Forgotten love. Quoting everybody to not carry around the ghosts of the past, but to leave yourself free, like her walking up a mountain after festivals, to distress yourself, leave yourself free, to clear the mind, and leave yourself free for somebody else to come back into your life. Let's listen to what she has to say. No. Um, so, but I said, I don't want to be an artist. That seems like a very strange thing. But my mom said that you have to share music.
language. I started making my own language when I was this Gegeherina, when I was little, little warrior. I started making my uh, own language because which I spoke to with my imaginary friends, which didn't have much use because they were imaginary friends. But then I just kept it for myself for a little while. And then now I want to kind of use it more in my music. And it has letters. There is an alphabet, which you will understand in the future. Mm. But um, there is an alphabet, but it's not a secret still. It's only for me. Um, but the, the language is very emotional. Like one word doesn't really have one specific meaning, but with together with melody, it has a meaning and it can change to what you feel it should, should mean. You know, it can be whatever you need it to be. I am the only one in my family that makes music the way that I do. Um, and I started quite young. I played the piano when I was six and I started writing songs when I was nine, um, mostly because it felt really good. And I was very like, I was a thinker. I thought a lot when I was a kid about everything I saw and heard and experienced. So it was good for me to have somewhere to put all, all, the, all the thoughts. It's good because you get experience when you write a song about something and then you know that someone can listen to it and feel a bit better and feel a bit less alone because people are quite alone sometimes. Mm. Even if they aren't alone, they're still alone, mm. you know. Um, so I really want to be a friend for those people. But it is very strange. I don't really understand how it happened. I don't understand why people give me so much love. Oh. But I do enjoy it. Well. I write songs all the time because I have them inside me all the time. So I write a lot of words all the time. And when I'm home, when it's quiet, and I make melodies. Suddenly I have a chorus from 2005 <laughs> added with a verse from 2010 and I listen to my... It's very... I just, I just make music all the time. I love Brazilian music. It's so warm and full of life and sensual. But I don't know names, but of course I know... Of course I know the classics. Girl for me, Panama was walking... You know, everyone knows that. I, I really like it. It makes me want to dance forever until I die. Well, Aurora, you'll never die simply because you'll live in the memories of me and generations after me all around the world for the love that you give. And long may those melodies from 2005, 2004 and upwards continue to be put together. I hope you enjoyed the background story of Forgotten Love. I didn't get a chance to break down the lyrics, but as always, they're in the description. I think it's a case of her advice in the beginning is what I'll finish this video up with. If you are experiencing love, that you just can't shake the demons of what happened before, this is my advice to you. Look at yourself, reinvent yourself, believe in yourself, by believing in yourself and over a period of time give it time doesn't matter if it takes a lot longer it will happen because it's meant to just like our love for aura love is never forgotten it's never meant to be but it is meant to be shared once you move on and the next sharing experience can only be better Take care for now. Bye-bye.